Trying to girlfriend is interesting. Sadly, not in a good way. I have lots of thoughts here. Let's, let's just talk about this. So I saw the first two episodes of Rent a Girlfriend because one of my commenters wondered what I thought about it. Judging from the title alone, I thought it would be a trash anime. But sometimes the seemingly trash anime can be something much more, like really wholesome, enjoyable. Or sometimes they are trash, but they're really enjoyable trash. So I thought I should give this show a fair chance. Maybe I would like it. And I did like it for the first episode quite a lot, actually. It's about this guy, Kazuya, who is having trouble getting over his breakup with his girlfriend, Mommy. So a month passed, and he signs up for a Rent a Girlfriend app and rents a girl, Chizuo, for a date. They have a great time on their date, but after reading the reviews from her, he sees that it was all an act she was doing, and he gets really mad. And then he books another date to yell at her during it, to get into a fight, and, you know, that's kind of expected. Yeah, he's definitely stupid here, but I can sort of see where he's coming from. He's not in a good emotional state, was dumped by one girl, and feels like another one is just manipulating him. And I also like the look we got at Chizuro here when she drops her act and basically confronts him for how he's acting. And I also liked her pride in doing her job well. Even if it is an act, she definitely gets into it and does it to the best of her ability. Then Kazuya was called to the hospital because his grandmother was admitted, so he rushes over there, and Chizuru joins because, well, the plot kind of demands it. And it turns out that Chizuru's grandmother is also in the hospital and friends with Kazuya's, so Kazuya and her have to pretend to actually be dating to keep that a secret. Now, there's some good comedy and hijinks here, but the part of the episode that really sold me was near the end, where they have a conversation where Kazuya was revealing just how lonely he was. And there's a great movement of connection between the two of them. Not as, like, fake boyfriend-girlfriend, not as real romantic partners, but just two characters who got each other. The scene sold me and made me want to see more of their relationship, no matter where it went, romantic or not. Then we have episode two, and while I wasn't planning to get into spoilers... It kind of needs to for me to rant about it. But we have a lot of more things happening where Kazuya and Chizuwu need to pretend to be dating for more people. And then his old girlfriend, Mommy, ends up getting involved in the story. And here's where the major issues of the show started to make themselves known. I still sort of like it, but I feel like it really started to go downhill. Let me explain why. The biggest issue is that the characters are acting in dumb ways for no reason other than the plot wanting to go a certain direction. Like Kazuya's grandmother decided to randomly show up at his house despite the fact that she is a long-term hospital patient. How does that work? And she shows up wanting to see Chizuo. So what would be the logical thing for Kazuya to do here? Well, he could go with his and Chizuo's plan to tell everyone that they broke up. That would be the best thing to do. But he doesn't do that. Which I will cut him a bit of slack here. He's not confrontational and doesn't want to let his grandmother down. But he could also tell his grandmother that he cannot have her over now. Make up a reason. Like say he's busy with school stuff. Or he's out or needs to go out. And while he does sort of make an excuse for why Chizuo isn't there. He could take that a step farther. Say that she is busy with work. She won't get off until late. And then she won't have time to come over. I mean if he's comfortable lying. Why not come up with a lie that will get him out of this situation? But he finally gets to a point where he's going to admit that they broke up. Though, before he can do so, she stops him and guesses that's what happened. That she broke up with him because of how pitiful he was. Which could work out for him. Yeah, it hurts, but they could have a smooth break with the lies and everyone could go on with their life from here. But Chizuru overhears that, because she happens to live next door, and decides to rush over, keeping up the lie and proclaim that they are still dating. Which only seems to happen to propagate the drama. But she's the one who came up with the idea to tell his grandmother that they broke up. But no, she just throws it all away. And yeah, I get that she feels sorry for Kazuya, but still, she is only making things worse for everyone. Then, while on a fake date... The two of them run into Kazuya's friends, so that means they need to keep up the dating act for more people. And the friends invite them to go drinking with a group. Which they don't say no to, despite neither of them wanting to go along with it. And again, it would be so easy for either of them to get out of this. Kazuya could make up a lie that he had to go do school stuff, or that Chizuro needed to go do whatever, I don't know. And he wouldn't have to spill the truth that they aren't dating, he could just get out of this situation. 
Or Chizuru could have spoken up like that. I mean, their hour together was up, she has no obligation to stay with him, and she could say that without admitting that they are not actually dating. Again, it would work out perfectly. But no, they go along anyway, which again, only feels like it's for the sake of drama. And this is my issue with a lot of the drama shows that I watch. The events just feel forced. There comes a point where the plot plainly loses me because things are happening for no logical reason. And this is a perfect example of my problem with a lot of anime dramas in general. The other issue I have is that I don't like Kazuya as a character. At first, he was okay. I felt sorry for him for what he had been through, so while he was being kind of dumb, his actions made sense. But as I saw through episode 2, he has no ability to stand up for himself, which is just painful to watch. As I said in my video about Uzaki-chan, I need to like the main characters for me to like the show. And here, I don't. Jizuo has a bit more going for her, but she basically becomes as bad as Kazuya with doing dumb stuff only to advance the story. And I'm also not a fan of harem anime in general, which it looks like this show is going to go down based off of the introduction of Mami and what's going on at the end of episode 2, and then plus the opening. The thing that sort of interests me about the show is the dynamic between Kazuya and Chizuro, but if that takes a backseat to a bunch of other girls, well, I've lost my one reason to be interested. So yeah, I wanted to like this show. I even thought I might, especially after that first episode. But after the second... I don't think I would do. I may give this show another episode to see. Maybe it'll get better. But I really do have my doubts. I know some people like the show, and that's fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you like it. There's nothing wrong with liking what you like. But it's definitely not a show for me. And because people are asking what I thought, well, there you go. Time to get a ton of dislikes again. Do comment, though, whether you agree or disagree. I'm curious to hear your perspective. So with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.